Welcome to week 11 of Stammering Vlog. Special Christmas edition this week. Merry Christmas to everybody that watches this vlog and all your families. So, the last vlog I did was the special edition when we went back to the Starfish project on the call. So, thank you ever so much for everybody that's commented on that and said how much they enjoyed it and a, a bit of an insight into what happens on a starfish course. So a few people have asked me um, how they went about booking and things like that. So just check out the starfish project website. Everything you need to know is on there. Um, hopefully you already have done that by now and booked on and made that potential probably will be, more than likely, life-changing decision. So, yeah, that's great. Thank you for everybody that watched that. Apologies, the vlogs have been lacking the last couple of weeks. It's been rather busy. So, um, it hasn't been. So, Christmas time then. As a stammerer, how do we feel about Christmas time? Well, certainly before I had any control over my speech. Christmas time, you know, is a bit of an iffy time. I don't know what you think, but parties, being invited to parties, potentially going to parties where you don't really know anybody, having to get into conversations with people that you don't know, awkward social situations that as stammerers, I'm sure you can all relate to. So it can be a, a tricky time of year. You know, we also have family round that we might not have seen for a while. And that can be difficult as well because you might feel under pressure if there's a family member that's come round and you know you you know you want to get your speech right and you don't know what they think or you've not spoken to them and it can be a difficult time of year. So how are you feeling about it? You know, drop us a, a comment below. Are you looking forward to it? Or are you apprehensive? Is there some family members coming round that you're a bit nervous about talking to? Have you got a work to do coming up? Have you already had it? How did that go? Was there any situation where you thought well oh, I don't really want to go in that or did you avoid it did you say no I know plenty of people that have declined party invitations or whatever purely because of their stammer um, so yeah drop us a comment let's have a conversation about it I also saw on a stammering um, social media page yesterday somebody was saying it's really difficult for them because they really struggle with M sounds so when somebody says Merry Christmas to them to say it back is really difficult and this person was saying people just think he's ignorant and if he goes to say it and he can't say it they then walk away or whatever because they haven't realised that he's trying to say it back so that can be an awkward time as well. How how are you finding those sorts of things? So I'd really love to hear your comments on that. What I was going to say is maybe you could this year change it around a little bit, change that mindset. Maybe talk to your, those family members about your speech. Maybe you've never done that before. It's a good time, everyone's round. Rubbish on the telly. Nothing else to do. Maybe just have a conversation with them about your stammer and what it means to you. You know, you could as well, you know, you could, you know, put the documentary on um, and use that as a bit of a way of saying, actually, this is what having a stammer is all about. This is what impact it has on me and use that as a way of telling your loved ones or your family members or your friends, whoever that might be, about it. So just try and change that mindset around to, oh no, mother-in-law's coming around. 
Um, they're going to get ask me how things are. I'm going to have to talk conversation. Maybe your speech is a bit dodgy with those individuals anyway, and it's just going to make it worse. Just say, look, this is how it is, and you bring it up, and you'll you'll notice those weights on your shoulders just gradually disappear. So see see how that goes. See what else I've got in my notes. So yeah, that's all I was going to say really. Is nice and brief this week. Just wanted to shout out Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank you everybody for watching it um, and supporting my channel and also the documentary as well. Um, so recently we hit the 3,000 views figure, which is amazing. That's incredible. So thank you to everybody that's watched it or promoted it or shared it on your social media page. If you haven't yet already, be grateful if you could do that. And just have a good Christmas. I'll do another vlog in a couple of weeks into the new year and uh, we'll catch up then. Bye for now.